It can be convenient to store some of your data in JSON format because of the portability it provides. With CockroachDB, you can store JSON objects while also enjoying the benefits of our serializable isolation during transactions. Let's take a look at how to add a JSON column, how to move data from an existing column into the JSON column, and how to query on JSON records. In the vehicles table, we currently do not store much information about the scooters. To better track the fleet of scooters, it would be useful to store their manufacturing and purchase information and record information about their physical state. The new JSON column will replace the existing vehicle type column. This will allow you to use a portable JSON data model in the same database as the rest of your app data. It can also be useful when you're running an app that uses a data structure similar to JSON, or if your application is importing semi-structured data. Start by adding the new vehicle info column into the vehicles table. Now that you have a JSON column, you can migrate the data from the vehicle type column into vehicle info. To do that, use the JSON set function. This function call has three arguments, the column that is being changed, an array with a path through the nested JSON object, and the value to set, in this case, the data from the vehicle type column. Since we are moving data from the vehicle type column, which is a string, we also need to convert it to JSON. You can now drop the vehicle type column. You can use the JSON be pretty function when running a select statement to see formatted JSON in the SQL shell. When working with JSON, it can be helpful to specify only a subset of keys and values you would like returned, rather than the entire JSON object. To query on one of the key value pairs, use the arrow operator to specify the key. You can also extend this syntax to query against nested key value pairs. In the field technician portal, it would be useful to locate scooters that are damaged. To find those scooters, you can query on the where key, specifying the value damage and return the ID and where. You could also use similar notation on nested key value pairs to find data like all the scooters from a specific manufacturer. Let's review. You can store data in JSON in a column. It is possible to move data from existing columns into JSON columns. To find data stored in JSON, you can query against both the keys and values in a JSON record. 